Hello and welcome back everyone to the Powder Toy and you may remember I accidentally deleted my mod on stream. It was depressing and I lost all of that great biology stuff I was working on. Well, I've had the motivation to start working on it again and I've made it a little bit better actually. So I've got the framework down and let me show you what I've got so far. So first off, everyone wants to know the bloody details. Literally, here is blood. Yes, beautiful. Um, if I just throw it into a container, you're going to notice it's going to get very purple-blue very quickly, and then it's going to die. Yes, I've added death conditions and even a dead tissue uh, type of element, so if you do not keep your organism alive or you're doing an awful job of it, uh, eventually it's going to nope out of there and just completely fall apart. Um, the dead tissue is a powder, so it will literally, you can see, the blood cells are beginning to die, and it's creating a very nasty, grimy layer at the bottom. This could actually cause blood clots uh, in the simulation, and it's certainly an interesting concept. So, blood can actually uh, pull oxygen out of the air, uh, but what it can't do is it cannot actually get rid of carbon dioxide on its own. So you can do this and it'll make the blood nice and red, but it'll still die because that's, uh, the CO2 is going to build up within it. And I mean, eventually it's going to have nowhere to put it and then it'll just uh, die. So that's sad. So how are we, how do we fix this? Well, let's go over and go to the lung simulator. Um, this is my lung simulator, which is, or was, effective before because it has oxygen that goes in, and then we have this uh, beautiful blood which picks up that oxygen and it goes through. But we're going to notice that because there is no lung removing the carbon dioxide, this blood is still going to die. It's a little bit, it's a little bit tricky, you know? You think it's gonna make it because, but you'll notice that it's not, it's not red. That is not the correct color. And uh, yes, uh, the carbon dioxide buildup just got too far and now it's dead. It's actually caused a clog. We got a clot. It's disgusting. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to have the exchange occur through a lung. So in the center here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put some lung and we'll make it just a circle of lung and then the center of the lung we will put some oxygen and we will clear out the oxygen. Actually uh, let me just do set type uh, O2 none. Can I, can I, oh, um, I thought none was valid. Uh, what's well, something that would destroy itself pretty much immediately? Uh, LN2. Uh, L2? What? Set type O2 LN2. What do you mean invalid particle type? What? What? Oh, oxygen. Why is it O2 in the code, but it's o that's that's weird. Okay, so we put oxygen into the lung and you're going to notice that that oxygen is being turned into carbon dioxide. Which is good, that's exactly what we want it to do. And you'll know- oh, well we kind of covered up the fans so this isn't working very well is it? Let's go ahead and put another fan here blowing that way just to keep the whole flow going. I think the blood is actually too heavy for it to go through a system like this. Oh, there we go. Trying to get it to do that cool flop around in a circle. All right, so as you can see, it's not looking the best though because we're not really uh, filtering this and keeping it nice. So we're going to go ahead and put uh, some void here. We'll put some clone here. Then we'll get the clone making oxygen, and this should make it at least have some fresh oxygen at all times. Alright, 
So we have fresh oxygen going in, which is then going onto the lungs. The lungs are picking up that oxygen, uh, outputting carbon dioxide, and the oxygen is going to the blood. Granted, the, I have made a very inefficient system for it, so the blood is still very dark and unhealthy and um, probably going to die. But that's my fault. <laughs> that's my fault. Um, I should have made this a little bit better. We could use plants to try to refresh the oxygen in here. Whoopsies. There's a lot of carbon dioxide. Oh no, things are dying. The, the lungs, oh god. Oh no. <laughs> okay, let's let's redo this. I think we're going to need to swap to my other simulation, a uh, lung testing where I was testing a a more interesting system where I'm using plants to recover the oxygen from the CO2. So this is actually a symbiotic uh, organism here because the plants convert the carbon dioxide to oxygen and the lung converts the oxygen to carbon dioxide and you can see that it's stable. The blood is a pretty healthy color staying around 6 to 7. Uh, the TMP or temp uh, thing you can see on the top right there is what shows the blood's level of oxygenation and it goes from 0 to 10. So a uh, 6 isn't awful. We can do better though. There are several ways we could do better. One of them is to uh, actually make this a little bit more efficient. And we can do that by creating a little box where the oxygen is, or the CO2 is converted a little bit, a little bit more efficiently. Do that like this, grab some plant, and then just create, view. Oh, we're going to want to do it in the other direction. Um. Uh, just getting a lot more surface area is the big thing. More surface area means more cleaning. There we go. So we can do that, and then we can go ahead and put a little bit more oxygen into here, and you'll notice that the amount of oxygen is gonna go up because we're doing a better job. Doing a better job of that exchange, the lung is getting a little bit brighter, as you can see. There's more oxygen being picked up, and because of that, the blood is getting brighter. We're getting temp value of eight now. Maybe we'll even get up to nine or 10. It's almost perfect, almost perfect. Perfect. So as you can see, it is possible to balance it. This is not an Im impossible game. Uh, I didn't want it to be impossible to make a life form. I wanted it to not be easy either. You have to balance a few things. But a simple chamber like this, uh, you can definitely see how it's successful. And then we can also simulate something going horribly wrong. So let's say you punctured the, uh, I don't know, the body or the lung or whatever. And so let's just remove all of it. See what happens if we just remove everything. Things were very healthy before, remember. So we'll see how long it takes for things to fall apart. Now the lungs can actually store, well the lung tissue can store quite a bit of oxygen. So if things are going well, it takes a little bit for you to notice. And they will try their best to push it into the blood. Uh, the lungs can take a lot more abuse than the blood can. They can accept, I think, up to 50 carbon dioxide before it dies, uh, whereas the blood can only accept up to 10. But as time goes on and literally no oxygen is brought in, it's going to get a little bit messy. And as you can see, the blood is beginning to die. And so are the lungs. It tried its best, but there's not much you can do. So you notice the part that died first was the lungs that were touching the blood, and that's because the blood was still pushing more carbon dioxide into it. Now that it's just a bunch of lung tissue, uh, there's no... I mean, they use uh, oxygen and create carbon dioxide, so it will die on its own. It's just going to take a little bit longer because there's no other tissue pushing carbon dioxide into it. Um, we could actually accelerate it by adding blood or other tissues which don't exist yet. I still have to add meat and flesh and stuff. It'll be very fun. 
Very fun indeed. Wow. Oh. Uh, the lungs are really just... Look at them. Look at them survive. Oh, never mind. Here it goes. It's beginning to fall apart. So as you can see, uh, if you're, the blood begins to die, um, you could probably clean it up. I'm probably going to actually add like medicine, which can turn dead stuff back into the thing it was before. Um, so you'll be able to survive some like blood death and stuff. But uh, once the lungs and stuff start to fall apart, you're probably pretty screwed. I won't lie. Like that's bad. Interesting things to think about. Uh, a few issues that I had to come up with along the way or solve along the way. Uh, first off, I was like, oh, well, if oxygen's on this side, we don't want it to push CO2 out this side because that would be pushing it into the bloodstream. Uh, so rather, it just replaces the oxygen with CO2. So you won't get CO2 anywhere where you didn't give it oxygen. Um, I guess you could technically make a vein out of lung material. Not, not that that's very realistic, but you, you could. I mean, if we do this and then just go ahead and get portal in. And portal out. We can just make a very nice vein here. We Oh, shoot. Yeah, and just have it spray all over the place. We. I mean, there, there is. I don't think there's enough oxygen to keep this alive, so let's just very quickly coat it. Mmm, oxygen. There we go. That's helping. It's diffusing through the material. Very nice. By the way, if you look me up on GitHub, it's literally just Spike Viper. You can see all the code behind this, and, um,. I will be talking to the Powder Toy dev team about getting us set up so that we can actually do like saves and stuff with this. But like I said, it's not quite ready uh, yet for being like used. I need to add the other biology things, but it's moving along very slowly and steadily moving along. So I'm, I'm very excited to say that it's going in the right direction, and eventually there will be the Spike Viper, Powder Toy, Biology, and other crazy things mod. I wonder how Neutrons affects- I haven't actually added, like, interactions with Neutrons or anything. Oh, god. Oh. Quite damaging. <laughs> Jeez. Um, well. That really screwed it up. Damn. There's just like random blood inside of the tissue. It's it's not looking good. Honestly, I should make it so that too much radiation just kills the tissue outright. Pretty sure lung is flammable as well. I need to make heat able to kill it. No, is it not flammable? I'm gonna have to make things flammable. Or at least hurt by heat. See, these are all things I have to think about. This has actually been going for a while. I'm quite impressed. Things are going to start dying soon, though. There's no way it won't. Let's put a tray under it so that we can catch the remains. Very nice. All right. Is it going to decay? I mean, there's a lot of mass here, especially lung tissue to pick up that carbon dioxide. So uh, it may take a little bit. It may take a little bit. It doesn't look very healthy, though. Um, it's looking pretty bad, actually. I won't lie. Not looking the best. It's not falling apart, though. I wish I could see the temp 2 value, but you can't even with the, like, debug menu open. It, does, it only shows you temp 1, which is annoying. I want to know what it is. Do, 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 do. All right. Wow. That lung tissue has got to have a l Oh, it's starting. Yeah, you can see it building up. Ooh, no. Oh man. The entire thing is just falling apart. So 
so yeah. There, there you go. Um, I also am thinking about adding, like, bacteria, which can go through and basically eat... You know, eat and tear apart your beautiful creations, but... Uh, it would act kind of like goo, except a little bit less extreme, and um, it would be able to be fought maybe by like, I don't know, we can add like white blood cells. I mean, there's nothing stopping me at this point. All right, let's just drop a piece of gray goo on there. Wait, is the gray goo not, not growing? What? Why isn't it growing? What about red goo? What? <laughs> Wait, this can't be right. What? Is it immune? Why? Oh no, they're just not spreading at all. Huh, why? Oh, I know why. Because my code for gray and red goo depends on the maximum temperature, um, and I screwed with that. See, th this is part of why... Yeah, this is why we can't have the maximum temperature set at a million, because it just breaks so many things. <laughs> but it was fun for that one video. So thank you all for watching. Leave a like, subscribe if you enjoyed it, and I will see you all next time, hopefully with this working a lot better. Peace out. Hey, thank you for watching. So it turns out that my drivers swapped themselves for Logitech drivers, which is fine because it sounds better, but after I configured it. Turns out the entire video was recorded, unconfigured, and it sounds awful, so I apologize to your ears. Um, but now you can hear my beautiful, sexy voice in full 4K. That, that doesn't make sense. You know what does make sense? Slapping that subscribe button. End credits, gang. Thanks for sticking around.